Hi, this is Shah here. Today I am going to configure IPsec VPN between Cisco and Palo Alto. So it's a road based VPN between Cisco and Palo Alto. I am using the ISR router and I have the Palo Alto version 8.1. And as you can see, that uh, when subnet is running 1.1. in the router 1, it's a Cisco router and 2.2.0/24 running on Palo Alto side and LAN subnet. 10.0/24 and 20.0/24 running on the Palo Alto LAN. So here is the configuration of Cisco router. And uh, let let me start the configuration from the Cisco router. So I can see that this is the Cisco router. So already I have configured the IP address. So basic communication is happening between the router 1 and Palo Alto device. So I, I will be able to ping from the 1.1.2 2.2.2 to address. So let me try to ping 2.2.2. Yes, it's a pingable and I would like to ping from 2.2.2 to 1.1. So ping host first I have to use source and here uh, yeah so I am just pinging to 1.1.1 with the source address 2.2.2 so I am in the Palo Alto so it's pingable so communication is the normal so first I am going to start the IPsec configuration so crypto ICKMP policy and policy number you can use anything encryption 256 AES 256 hashing SHA 256 and group number you can use 20 anything and if you want to use how many group you can use you have you have the option 22 1 to 14 16 19 so I'm using 20 lifetime 86400 and authentication I'm going to use pre-share key so this one is almost done and crypto ICKMP key and Cisco asterisk one two three. I am using an address. So address would be I am configuring here. So address remote address would be two dot two dot two two dot two dot two dot two. And let me start the crypto IPsec transform set given in a T set. ESP AES 256 has seen ESP SA 256 and more should be tunnel. Okay, another I have to crypto IPsec profile and give profile name PH. Two, I'm giving crypto set set PFS and PFS I'm going to use group 20 group 20 set transform set and give the transform set name T set So set we have configured the transform set okay just need to exit from here crypto let me configure the tunnel so I'm going to configure the tunnel number 10 so interface tunnel 10 mode no IP numbered a number
numbered so one numbered I am going to F1 by 0 F1 by 0 F1 by 0 tunnel source 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 so tunnel source address is 1 dot 1 dot 1 tunnel destination 2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 tunnel mode IP IP sec IPv4 tunnel protection IP sec profile and profile name I have given to phase 2 so to show and you can see the configuration yes here it is so phase 1 phase 2 and this is the tunnel so here tunnel 1 thing is not IP unnumbered F1 by 0 do show run interface tunnel 10 yes so IP set configuration is done in the router 1 here and let me go on the Palo Alto so here is the Palo Alto and as you can see that 2.2.2 and LAN interface 20.1 slash 24 okay so first I have to go on the uh, here you can see two option in the security profile you can find the IPC crypto and IK, IK crypto and IK gateway this is the important thing for the IPC configuration so first I am going to the I crypto so here I am going to use uh, parameter for I phase 1 so I am giving the ph1 name and group number what I have used there I have to use same thing here encryption AES256 ok and another a sat 256 I have used over there in the phase 1 and if you want you can see it here this is the AES256 sat 256 so here I am using ok lifetime ok done phase 1 and I have to go on the IP set profile I can create phase 2 parameter ph2 protocol ESP that is correct and 256 on 30 case and saw 256 and group number would be 20 PFS are what I have used in the PFS here you can 20 so it's done <coughs> let me go on the I gateway here is the configuration this is the old configuration let me delete it so I'm going to configure give any name IKE GW GW1 I am giving the interface so inter internet interfacing interface is that 2.2 .2. it's a 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 and local address would be 2.2.2 .2. peer address so peer address would be remote man because I can use like this here I'm giving ban IP remote and keep the remote address 2.2.2. Uh, sorry 1.1.1.1. Okay. So here is the done. Okay. Ban IP remote. Okay. Pre-share key Cisco asterisk 123 Cisco asterisk 123 Advanced going advanced option net reversal no need passive no need 
and here is the option of main mode and aggressive put in as auto here uh, we have to call phase one profile phase one profile is ph1 and it's done and i have to go in the ip set tunnel and here i have to add give ip sec ph ip sec profile you can give any name i am just going to use the tunnel so there is no any tunnel let me create the one tunnel so this will be default virtual router i am using there is the another vpn zone i created so vpn zone i selected it here ip address no need and tunnel i am going to give it in that's all here and here we have to i gateway we have to call i gateway here and phase 2 profile profile is ph2 and proxy id no need because we are using policy not policy based we are using the road based vpn so no need any proxy id and all so here it's done and let me add the routing so for routing i have to go in the virtual router here we have to edit it Same thing we have to add the routing in IP route 192.168.20.0.255.255.255.0 and pointing to the tunnel 10. We are done and I have to configure the one static route. Uh, route Ten. Just I have given ten. Ninety-two dot one sixty-eight dot ten dot zero slash twenty-four. And here we have to select the tunnel interface, not the. And next hop put as a none. And just to okay. And we have to commit. Without commit, we can't. Tunnel will never come up. So we have to commit it configuration need to bring in the running like cisco so so it's it will take time let me check the configuration again need to show run okay preserve key cut okay here it seems good and let me check this router LAN router so IP INTP RIF ok in 192.168.10.1 yes it's pinnable yeah it's successful let me check the tunnel status you can go on the ip set tunnel yes tunnel came up i don't think any problem i can see and let me check on cisco router so cisco router is here yes you can see that tunnel came up ok so crypto secam p security association yeah you can see that tunnel is active now yes tunnel i u ipsec security association yeah you can see that esp and active group number and, and let me generate the, some traffic whether it's reachable or not i'm trying to ping 192.168.20.1 so, 
source twenty dot one. Yeah, it's been there. Well. And let me show you packet is getting encrypted or not. Yes, packet is getting encrypted, decrypted. So it seems good. No problem with that. And if you want, okay. Here is the cat. And let me check it here as well. Let me try to ping from here as well. Ping host one ninety two dot one sixty. Sorry, ping source. Ping source one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one. Host one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. Yes, traffic is moving through the tunnel. Let me capture some packet on here. Whether it's going through tunnel or something else let me start i'm going to capture on an interface yes wires are yes as you can see that here I'm continuous I'm pinging from 10.1 pinging to 10.1 with the source address 20.1 yes you can see that 20.1 is the source 20.10.10.1 is the Destination it's continuing ping so there is no any ICM packet I can see in the packet because I am capturing a packet on here here I am capturing the packet so traffic is moving through the tunnel that's why I am not able to see the ICMP packet on the interface only I can see that ESP packet encapsulation security payload and nothing else if you will go on the details you can see the security payload esp sequence number and all so guys tunnel is working fine if you have any question please let me know i'm going i will come with another video with another topic and soon i'm going to start in the video on in hindi as well so thank you very much